chapter number 14, verse number 1. Very familiar passage of the Word of God tonight. John chapter number 14 and verse number 1. And uh, I want you to pray. I hope to be getting a call maybe tonight or in the morning uh, from a group from Georgia called Breaking Ground. I was listening to them uh, sing this morning. They were in for the Kikendall's church. As a matter of fact, uh, they were out of that church. A part of them are. And I want to try to get them to come to Juba just because that's how I heard them. My goodness, when they fit here, dope, road, banjo, guitar, and buddy, they sing with a touch of God on them. And uh, a matter of fact, uh, Brother Jonathan's dad, Brother Lee Davis, and uh, uh, Jonathan sings with them. Well, they do a tremendous job. So I'm hoping we're going to get them for the Jubilee. If I do, you better buckle up. Well, they do a great job. All right, John chapter 14, verse number 1. The Bible says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, watch this, what he says, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. I'm glad he's coming again. I'm glad he's coming again. Whether I go, you know, and the way, you know, Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? And then this great verse of the Word of God, he says here, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. I want you to notice the phrase in verse number 6 where the Bible says, I am. Two little words, I am. Brother Jimmy called years ago started singing this song and he sung it while he was here and i want to preach for just a few moments tonight on this subject the great i am still is Amen. the great i am still is let's bow together and pray father we thank you so much lord for what we've heard tonight lord the choir's been a blessing lord the special singer by miss natalie's been a blessing our brother jim lord just Encourage us tonight to hear what God you're doing in Romania. And I pray you'll meet their every need. 
Uh, Lord, they have to get back and do the work for God. Lord, I'm glad, Lord, uh, for missionaries that have a heart for Jesus. Uh, Lord, I pray, Father, you bless the Word of God this evening. And God, we'll thank you and praise you for all you do. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You can be seated. I want to focus a little bit tonight, if the Lord will allow me, uh, on those two little words in John chapter number 14. I want to focus tonight on the words, I am. Matter of fact, I did a little bit of a word study, and I was amazed, but in the Old Testament, you'll find out that God says those words, I am, over 500 times. In the New Testament alone, 203 times you hear the words, I am. So in your King James Bible, that's over 700 times the phrase is mentioned, I am. But I want to say this today, though not every time is that phrase mentioned of the Lord Himself, most of them are. I am the Lord your God. And He says a lot of things about I am. And I want to say this tonight, that God is still the same. He has not changed. The God of the Bible is still the God of today. He has not changed at all. And He's still God. And He's still on the throne. And He's still doing a great work. Matter of fact, there's some of you here tonight that are visiting with us. And you're having folks in your family that will be baptized tonight that have accepted Christ as their Savior. And I want to say this tonight. It is amazing what God does in the life of someone that gives their life to Him. Friend, I can't change anybody and, and this church can't change anyone. But I'm glad as I said this morning that the Lord Jesus Christ can take someone and change their life and make them new all over again. Amen. So I want to just give you a few of the I am's of the Word of God, if I may, tonight. First of all, let's start with our text verse and verse number six. Well, the Bible says, I am the way. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way. I want to say something, make it very clear tonight. Jesus did not say he was a way. Jesus right. said, I am right. the way. Right. And I want you to understand tonight, there is no other way to get to heaven but the Lord Jesus Christ. You can be baptized in every Baptist church. You can be sprinkled in every Methodist church. You can join every denomination. You can turn over and you leave. But that will not get you to heaven. There is only one way to get to heaven. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ. And there is no other way. But I'm glad when I stand before God one day, I won't go in my own merit. But I'll go in the merits of the Lord Jesus Christ that saved me and washed me in His own blood. So he says, I am the way. Listen, the Bible says in Galatians 1 verse 7, uh, the Bible says, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and who would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. Amen. You know what the Bible says? Amen. The Bible says there is but one way. There is but one Amen. way. Friend, not everyone's going to heaven. Right. Not everyone that's good is going to heaven. Amen. Not everyone that's a member of a church is going to heaven. Amen. Can I say this? Whether you're the Pope or whether you're the preacher or whoever you are, you must be born again Amen. by the blood of the Lord Jesus right. Christ and right. all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. He says, I am the way. Then second of all, in Matthew 28, and you find in Hebrews 13, 5, He says, I am with you. And I put that you in parenthesis and use it for alliteration, but I am with. I think the teenagers say, can I go with? Amen. Instead of with you, with. Whatever that means. I am with you. You know what I'm glad of? I'm glad 
glad not only when God saved me did God change my life, but I'm glad that He walks with me and He talks with me and He's a part of my life every day. I'm glad the Lord is with me. Miss Becky, when you don't feel good and it's hard to go and you don't know what to do, aren't you glad the Lord is there with you? Aren't you glad God is there with you? Hey, listen, He is with us. Hebrews 13, 5 says, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. I'm so glad tonight that God is with me. I'm so thankful tonight that God is with me. Number three tonight, let me say this. Not only would He say, I am the way. Not only would He say, I am with you. But I believe He would also say, I am worthy. I am worthy. The Bible says, there came a voice from heaven saying, Thou art my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. God the Father placed the endorsement on the ministry of His own dear Son. Matter of fact, the book of Revelation chapter 4, the Bible says, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. Can I say this? He is so worthy tonight. He is so worthy tonight. All glory, all honor, all praise are due unto the Lamb of God, for He is worthy. Amen. Amen. Listen, Jacob and Miss Sarah tonight, and some of these young folk that have been saved in these last few days, and, and I think about others who have given their life to Christ. Oh, look, I, it'd be wonderful if I could say I did that. It'd be wonderful if I could say Calvary Baptist did that. It'd be wonderful if I could say that I changed Ace's life, Brother Fred. But the truth is, I did not do that. I could not do that. There's no possibility. I cannot change anyone's life. But I want to say this. There is somebody that's worthy. There is somebody that's worthy that did it all. Can I say this? All I am and ever hope to be, I owe all to the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. Amen. That's why when we go to church, we ought to make sure that we let everybody know He's worthy. I'm not going to be quiet about it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to be ashamed of my Savior. I'm not going to be ashamed of what I am. You know why? He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Oh, we applaud the athletes of the day. We applaud everybody today. And everybody else is not worthy, but I'm glad God is worthy. The Bible says in Revelation 5, worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, riches, wisdom, and strength, honor, and glory, and blessing. He is worthy. Let me say this. You look a little farther in Matthew 22. He says, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. You know what he's saying here? He said, I am witness. What does he mean? For I am the Lord. I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. You may not know how. You may not know when. But he can do it again. Amen. Hey, I want to say this. He is the same. He is the same. He has the same power. He has the same abilities. He has the same strength. He is Still the same. He said, I am the Lord. I change not. I'm glad of that tonight. I'm glad I serve the God that Abraham served. And Isaac served. And Jacob served. I'm glad I serve the same God. He has not changed. And then I will say finally, He said, I am waiting. In John chapter 11, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, yeah. though he were dead, yeah. yet shall he believe. Yeah. Amen. Preacher, why has the Lord not come? I'm going to tell you this. I believe simply for 2 Peter 2 and verse 9. Here's what the Bible says. Or 3 and verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise. As some men count slackness. But is long suffering to us. And one of my favorite verses of the Word of God. Not willing that any should perish, but that all 
should cut. Yes. To be. Amen. 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 One day, <laughs> that last person is going to get in. One day, that last one is going to say, Jesus, come into my life. Be saved. And in a moment, in a second, God, well, preacher, why did he come here? I'll tell you why he had come. Because he loves sinners. God doesn't want to see anyone die and go to hell without him. And Jesus paid it all. And all to him we owe. Amen. 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 Wouldn't it be wonderful if God was waiting on? Boy, I'd be so excited if you were the one he's waiting on. Amen. And boy, you walked up here tonight and gave your life to Christ. And when you did that, hallelujah, we take a plane out of We just go out of here. Right through the Milky Way, glory to God, and pass. And right on the sea, Lord, you said, Preacher, you believe it'll happen? Yes, one day when that last person comes into the family of God. Amen. Amen. But I'm so glad God's long suffering. Yes. Because the first time I heard the gospel, I didn't get saved. Amen. Matter of fact, I heard the gospel many times and didn't trust Christ. But then one day, by the grace of God, Amen. I gave him my life. Amen. I trusted him as my Savior. He says, I'm waiting. I am the resurrection. Amen. The life. Amen? Yeah. Listen, the great I am still is. Amen. Amen. Moses said, when I go talk to him, who, who am I tell him? Who am I going to say, send me? He said, you tell him I am. Amen? Right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I am. Right. Well, how it makes me want to take five minutes and just say, glory, Amen. glory, glory. glory. I'm glad the great I am. Amen. Amen. Can I say this today? He is what you need. Amen. You know, I wish somehow you could bottle up and, and give the people what it really does to have Jesus in your life. Amen. Boy, I'm telling you, it is just it's wonderful. Amen. I mean, it is. I, I love being a Christian. Amen. I love being saved. I would have traded for all the world. Amen. It's wonderful to be a child of God. This week in this church has been just wonderful to be a part of bus ministries and visitations and, 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 and fellowshipping and preaching and ministry. Just wonderful. I couldn't Amen. imagine any life that could be better than a son of God. Amen. But I want to say this to you, and I want you to get a very clear hold of what I'm saying today. The great I am. He still is. Amen. If you never received Him as your Savior, He'll change your life. Amen. He'll change your life. He'll make, he'll make you something different. Well, preacher, there's just something missing in my life. I know. It was missing in my life too. I grew up religious all my life. I've been in church since I was a kid. I grew up religious all my life. But I never gave my life to Christ and never trusted Him. And then when I did, I thought, man, am I? I didn't know it was this good. Amen. 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 Let's stand on our feet tonight. Thank you for listening. You've been awesome. Amen. James, you come. You come. Our heads are bowed tonight. Our eyes are closed. <coughs> Father, we thank you tonight, Lord, for Amen. the Word of God. We're glad tonight that the great I Am still is. Amen. Amen. Lord, we're glad tonight that we serve a God. Amen. Uh, Lord, like unto Thee, God, we bless your holy name tonight for who you are and for what you've done. And God, we thank you tonight for all these that have gathered at the house of the Lord. What, how wonderful it is tonight, God, to be around folks that want to be at church. God, what a blessing it is tonight to have folk visiting that come. Just to be a blessing to folks that are being baptized. Lord, that's such a blessing tonight. Lord, I thank you for every one of them that's come. Lord, I've just got a lot of new friends in this last year, a lot of new family. Lord, those you just keep on saving. It seems like, Lord, we just continue to baptize folks and give them their life to Christ. Lord, we thank you for that, God, because that's the great things you're doing. And God, you're worthy. You're worthy. You are so worthy. Now, Father, I pray tonight that you'll bless the remainder of this service. Now, Lord, as our heads are bowed, this wind is playing for us, Lord, and we're just waiting a moment. Father, I never take for granted Someone may be here tonight that's never trusted Jesus as their Savior. God, this would be a wonderful night to give their life to Christ. So Father, in the stillness of this moment, while we're here on this Sunday night, Lord, I pray that you just speak to hearts and lives. 
God, I pray that Jesus will become real to those that are sitting here tonight. Lord, I pray you just have your way in this invitation. Lord, maybe someone's here tonight that needs to hear one more time as I sent out a verse to Brother Mike and Miss Linda. Jesus said He'd never leave you nor forsake you. His grace is sufficient. Maybe someone tonight just needs to come and kneel an old-fashioned altar and say, Lord, I'm glad you're always with me. Lord, I don't know what the need may be tonight. Maybe someone's got a desire to pray for someone in this building tonight. God, I pray you'd have your way in the invitation. And we'll thank you. While our heads are bowed, some have already come to pray tonight. While our heads are bowed tonight, I want to ask you tonight. Is there anyone here tonight that would say, Preacher, I've never been saved. I've never trusted Jesus as my Savior. If I die tonight, I do not have that hope. I've never trusted Jesus as my Savior. Would you pray for me? I'm not here to embarrass you tonight. That's not my purpose. But I would love to pray for you. If you'd say, Preacher, I've never asked the Lord into my life. I've never asked Him to save me. Miss Jasmine this morning asked the Lord to save her, to come into her life. If you'd say, Preacher, I've never done that, would you pray for me? I wonder if there'd be somebody tonight. I'm not going to embarrass you. I'm not going to come to you. But I'd love to pray for you. I'd love to pray for you. Would you set that hand up and say, Preacher, would you pray for me? I've never been saved. I wonder if there'd be one all across this auditorium. Preacher, I've never been saved. Would you just remember me pray? Preacher, you may not know my faith, my name, but would you remember my face and would you pray for me? Would you pray for me? Would there be someone tonight all across this auditorium to say, Preacher, would you pray for me? Would you pray for me? Thank you so much. These on the altar praying tonight. I'm glad to say the great I am still is. I'm glad He's still God. He's still on the throne. Everything's still okay at the Father's house. Amen. Brother James is going to sing a verse of invitation. Then we'll have our baptism. If you need to come for any reason tonight, this altar's always open. Boy, it's been a good day. God's given us a good day. If you need to come tonight, you come. Others are coming. Some have already come. Nothing like the old-fashioned altar to pray. Brother James. A Savior saved, thy strength indeed is small. Child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me thine all in all. Jesus paid it all. Yes, he did. All to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. She looked this way. We got folks praying. I, I thank God for an old fashioned altar. Don't you? She looked this way. I will say this to you tonight. There's not a greater relationship in all the world. The relationship that someone can have with Jesus Christ. This is not a greater relationship. I wish I could share with you the peace that God gave me and others when they accepted Christ as Savior. Nothing like it, Mr. Jacob. There's nothing like it, son. Nothing like it. And tonight, if you don't know that, I'm glad God can plant that seed. And I'm glad tonight God is able. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to have a baptism service. And baptism water does not save anyone. But the Word of God says for us that we should be baptized. We should follow Christ in baptism. Because in the likeness of His burial and His resurrection. His death, His burial, and His resurrection. And so we're excited to do that tonight. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to slip over and get ready for the baptism here. All of you uh, young men or men that are going to be baptized, would you please go over to my brother James there to this door to my right? Brother Dalton, uh, y'all going to sing maybe something for us tonight? Okay. okay. Uh, y'all come on if you would. Brother Fred, come on. And you guys go over to the right here. Tim, he's coming. Remember, you go down here. You've got to help me out. I've got a little bit more to the crowd over there. Which is a good thing. Amen. 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 Amen.
All right, ladies, you can go from this edge over here to my left. If you uh, get baptized tonight, you come on. What about these precious teenagers? Gave their life to Christ. Amen. 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 Come to be baptized. I mean, that's awesome. Amen. Thank y'all for being here. We love y'all. I'm so glad y'all are here. They, they're nervous, but I'm glad they're here. I've only ever lost one person, so that's not <laughs> I told the kid that one time, I thought he was going to leave. <laughs> How are you, Rex? How are you, man? I'm wonderful. <laughs> Amen. Little Fred, he's already gone in there. I call him Little Fred because I can't hear that little. I call him Little Fred. So that's, he's Little Fred. <laughs> All right. I believe I said, Brother James, going to lead y'all a couple songs. Let's stretch me out on the chin for quicker. Uh, get ready to baptize the program, let the ladies go first, and then the guys. And I'm excited to hear maybe a testimony to what God's done in people's life. And uh, you pray for all of them. Amen. Uh, Brother Bobby, once we, uh, once we get done, you cut the lights in the auditorium and just sleep up there for me, brother. All right, let's grab our hymn books out. Let's go to page number 346. Page number 346. I know my name is there. We'll sing all four verses while we're waiting for them to get ready to see. My name is in the book of life. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I rise above all doubt and strife and read my title clear. I know, I know. Let's see. 
Tonight, coming through this water will be a lot of miracles. Amen. A lot of people's lives will be changed for eternity. Amen. There will be some young people coming through here tonight that do not have a Christian home. They don't have anyone to go back to at home to love Jesus. Well, some do, some do, but a few do not. And you think about it tonight, but you never know whose life one day they're going to change. Amen. And so tonight, we baptize these folks. I'm excited one day to see what God's going to do. Amen. 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 How God's going to change their life. And we're going to start out with our ladies. And this going to happen here. We're going to go up here. Miss Sarah, I haven't been sure. This is just to go first. <laughs> I appreciate Miss Sarah and uh, Amen. I appreciate Miss Sarah and her faithfulness to the Lord. Of course, since she's got saved, she just stayed right in here. Amen. 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 Met her family, and her sister. I appreciate all of them and the blessing they are. Ms. Sarah, do you want to say anything tonight? Amen. 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 Amen.
Because of Cameron's faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I baptize her in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Just be too much of a I got you.
place is faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. I baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Amen.
for saving me and Amen. everything he's done for me. I'm glad you know, I grew up in a home that knew where to go. Amen. So, Amen. So, Amen. Amen. Thank God for saving my life. That's just about as good as me getting saved. Yeah. Amen. 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 Just thank God for Calvin and everything he's done. Amen. 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 Oh, your yeah. brother's a big fella. Don't pray for me. Brother Harry might get you through that. But also, the other brother's faith in the Lord Jesus. I baptize him in the name of the Father and Son, the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Once again, I say tonight that water can't save. Yeah. Jesus was baptized. The Spirit of God said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Calvary Baptist Church, I thank the Lord for what God's doing. I'm excited about what He's going to do in the future. And I want you to keep praying with Him, keep winning souls, and keep loving people. We have to love people. Amen. 